The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Shas or rat, cat and moose. Radar rat race. This, along with Jupiter Lander, was probably my first ever experience with the Commodore 64. The scene takes place in a storm block maze, where you have been seemingly imprisoned by an evil rat invasion force. You need to outrun the rats with your adventurous mouse, whose only chance of survival is to eat your way through the numerous lumps of cheese dotted around the maze. Roughly a third of the screen is given over to the four-way scrolling graphical maze. To the right of this is a rectangular radar map, which shows you where the cheese is as well as opposing rats and stationary cats. Your character is blue, denoting that you are a mouse and the enemies are red. If it wasn't obvious, this game is essentially the same game as Rally X and was also available on the VIC-20 and looked, sounded and played almost identical on both machines. I never had a VIC-20 back when I was a kid, but I'm guessing that anyone who owned one probably had this game. Admittedly, it was a game I played quite a bit as a kid as it came on an instant loading cartridge. I wish every game was as quick to load as these cartridge games were. Anyway, as briefly mentioned, there are also cats as well as rats. They don't move, but are sitting in various places around the maze. On the other hand, the rats seem to have a degree of artificial intelligence as they immediately detect your presence and chase you. You have only one deterrent. By pressing the fire button, you will activate it. Back when I was a kid, I always thought that the rat was letting off massive farts behind it and that its foul stench would completely obliterate the rat's sense of smell. Any of the rats that enter the starry entrails that you leave behind go into a spin and cease chasing you for a little while at least. God knows what it is. Stars of some description. Maybe dust. Not sure. Maybe droppings. That's some talent. Logically, it would make sense to use this skill throughout the whole game. But unfortunately, there is always a sacrifice, and every time you use this, it is forfeited for the remaining time left, so it's wise to use sparingly. If however, a rat catches you, or you run into a cat, you will lose one of your three lives. Mind you, if you run into a stationary cat, you deserve to lose all three. Direction is inevitably controlled by your joystick, but there is only one speed that your rat can move at. But once you set off, you cannot stop moving. Because of this, sometimes when you come to a wall of the maze and you haven't decided if you're wanting to go left or right before colliding with the wall, the computer decides that for you. So, for example, you could accidentally turn right instead of left and ultimately often interferes with your decision, producing the directional change which may raise your stress levels slightly whilst heading straight into the path of an oncoming rat. The radar map can be a little misleading too sometimes, as the advancing rats are represented by tiny X's, which can sometimes be hard to detect. Oh, and the walls aren't displayed on the radar either. Well, maybe I'm just saying this now as I'm older and probably almost as blind as these mice, but the radar isn't really all that handy for avoiding the rats, but is useful to see where the remaining cheeses are. No, I said cheeses. Okay, the final pieces of cheese. The constant background sound might really do your head in after a while, constantly playing the tune Three Blind Mice. Little did anyone know just what the SID chip could do until a little later in the life of the Commodore 64. I mean, imagine if this game had a beefy soundtrack to it, maybe something like this. Once a screen has been completed, by eating all of the cheese and avoiding death, the following levels have the same style, but the action is sped up a little with the addition of more enemy rats. Apart from the sound and a few other irritating bits, the game is pretty good for a very early Commodore 64 release, and I still give it a bit of love, purely for nostalgia reasons. 
Thanks for watching guys. Hit the like button and let me know what you thought of Red or Rat Race. If you're enjoying the nostalgia and games just like this, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we explore more and more games from the library of the fantastic Commodore 64 and also the Commodore Amiga. With plenty more on the channel playlists and more coming daily, it would be great for you to join me and see how many nostalgic memories we can unlock. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bye for now.